Yo, what is up guys? I'm Dan. I'm back with another craft brew review. I'm rolling with Parish Brewing, Atticus Atlas Triple IPA, Hazy for Days. We're talking Christmas edition, guys. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. Just want to say that straight up. So right off the jump, we'll go with that. I uh, hope you guys are spending time with your friends and family and enjoying your day. Um, I know I am. So what I'm rolling with again, guys, I love Parish Brewing. I know uh, I got a buddy named Kevin. He's actually somewhat a family member. Uh, he lives down in Louisiana. He sends my brother-in-law beers like Ghost in the Machine. And the first ever time I tried it was yesterday, Atticus Atlas. As you can see, we did try both. I've had Ghost in the Machine before, and I am going to do a separate review on that. Um, but Atticus Atlas was an awesome one that I actually hadn't heard of, and Parish Brewing actually kills the hazy game so I had to review this for all my Michigan people and whoever else is out there watching this is one that we cannot normally get guys so shout out to Kevin I appreciate it sir thanks for sending the beer on up here um, very excited to crack into this so uh, I like that they have this with yellow writing right on the bottle it was labeled 12 3 18 today's the 25th we're not gonna get this much fresher from Louisiana guys um, Huge shout out to Kevin on that, getting us a fresh one too. That's that's big time right there. Love the clean label. I guess uh, this Atticus Moth is really what it's called. It's an Atticus Moth, guys. A slick, clean label. Love it. Um, had to look it up because it doesn't say on here. I guess this is um, 9% and it is a triple IPA. Um, and it says in little writing number 3, so I'm going to say that this is batch 3 of Atticus Atlas. So aromatic right out of the mat, guys. Tons of citrus, tons of hops. I'm going to share this with my brother-in-law today, so I'm not going to pour this all. Got this brand new glass, very good Italian glass here, guys. So, okay, I'm going to share it with them, guys. Right off the jump. Nearly orange juice, maybe a layer lighter than OJ, guys. Very dirty, very opaque, very hazy. Um pillowy, a um, little bit darker than bright white head, um, bubbles all distributed across, big and small. Um, yeah, it's OJ, guys. Just a little bit later. The hot presence in this is out of this world. It's extremely hot forward. It's a triple IPA. I don't know how many hops they fill into this thing. It smells along the line of Boss Tweed, just a little bit pinier. Because what I get also is pine. Tons of dank, juicy notes in here, guys. It is extremely dank and juicy. The head is going away, just little compact bubbles around, distributed across the sides, left and right side of it. It smells crazy, guys. It's a juice bomb. Parrish is so good at these juice bombs. Yeah, and it's just that dank, deep, juicy piney citrus no maybe like overripe pineapple mango um uh, almost like a bubble gummy yeasty breadiness and it too it's thick it smells thick and heavy i can't go any longer cheers guys cheers kevin thank you very much for this beer uh cheers parish brewing love your beers So hop forward. So many hops. It's so bready and thick. The mouthfeel is like in solid medium, almost towards the, the heavier end of medium. Um, wow, man. It's so dank. There's so much... There's so much dankness to this, guys. It, it smells like a dank juice um, pine tree. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's along the lines of Boss Tweed, like I said, from Old Nation. It's just this is more balanced, in my opinion. The bitterness is there at the end, which I do like. It's not overly attenuated. It's not overly sweet at the end. It balances out somewhat. You're getting... You do get like a grapefruit juiciness in there along with overripe pineapple, no doubt. Um, 
but again that ending is that bitter pininess kind of that balance this the sweet the sweetness that comes at the beginning is cut out at the end with that bitterness from the pine and just the dryness of this beer at the end which i love the way it rounds out nine percent is hidden very well um but it's a juice bomb guys it's it's so hot present um you can tell this thing is loaded with i, I don't know i think it's galaxy i want to say i don't know if that was ghost in the machine i bet you there's galaxy hops in this as well <clears throat> but this is an awesome New England style triple IPA, guys. It's, I know that's not even really a category, but this is in fact a triple. I almost get like a hint of nectarine in there too. There's, there's definitely a nectarine presence. Again, that overly ripe pineapple. Um, tons of pine, but it again balances this beer out with that heavy, yeasty, bready mouth feel that comes with it. Um, it's just an awesome all-around um, New England style triple. It's it, it's Parish stands alone, guys. They do a great job on all their beers. I haven't actually had a bad beer from them. I've had now Atticus Atlas today, Ghost in the Machine, DDH, Ghost in the Machine, some of the best hazies I've ever had. Um, and then I've had Opus Furt and um, there's a couple of Juicifer, a couple other ones. All very good stuff. These guys nail it almost every time for me. Very well executed beer. And um, again, this is pretty crazy, the hot presence that's in this. Um, it's one of my favorite New England styles that I've ever had, guys. So um, as for that, I'm going to say that this is a solid 4.65 out of 5 for me, guys. It's very, very good. Um, I can't knock it very much. It's just it's just all around an awesome beer maybe if it was just a hint um, more citrus forward but then you're looking at boss tweed so um, I don't really want it to be that because I like experiencing different beers guys so this one's pretty close to perfect for me it's not um, it's not a five per se for me but it's close it's close enough where it's it's world-class outstanding these guys know what they're doing um, one four six five out of five um this is merry christmas edition guys with a little juice bomb action from parish brewing um this is dan guys i will see you on the next one have a merry christmas over and out